All right, so I want to show you um, a little bit here um, on what things are in a sampler, um, what programming is, what a sequence is, um, etc. You know, kind of give you a sense of, of what all, all, all that stuff is and how that all works. Um, obviously, you know, this, this thing is a sampler, so you know, you can sample sounds into it. So, I mean, it's very, very simple. If I go into um, sampler, I got a little something on the turntable. So, um, you know, Lucky me. Lucky me. so just a little, a little sample, you know, um, I'm going to discard that, but you know, so it's a sampler, you know, that's a main function, obviously of this. Um, and then it's a, sample ed editor as well so you can go in and you can edit uh, all your samples so but I, I don't want none of that i got a bunch of drums some 808 sounds 808 clap that's really really loud <laughs> Let me just turn that down okay so basically i'll zoom in push in here and show you the sequencer so um, again you know you have um, right here you know uh, is all your controls for when you want to record a sequence so push out just a little bit okay um, so again when you record here and you're not recording music you know you're recording notes that you hit with these pads over here and the information on those on those notes okay so a couple important parts here. Let's see if I can push in a little bit there. So here's your sequence. Again, this is where you're going to apply all these note this note information to. You have your beats per minute. You can obviously go in and uh, you can change that, you know, to something fast, something slow, or whatever. Here's your bars. So you can do set to two bars. You can set it to three bar, four bar. Okay, and that's like the main gist of that. Now, within your sequence, right, and you can have multiple sequences in a, in a project, um, you have tracks. So, for instance, one thing I do here is, uh, you know, I'll record my hi-hats or my kicks or my um, snare or uh, any you know any you know melodies or bass lines to their own tracks it's so i can manipulate them um you know individually okay and then uh, another just important thing here is it has velocity so that's where you change the levels in your in your mix you know of the sounds because you don't want your hi-hats to be really super loud or anything to be you know you know it's where you create your mix uh, somewhat you know and then here where it says uh, drum program and it says advice drums that's where you assign a certain program to the pad so th th this program when I when I when I uh, excuse me assign a program to a track so um, you know when I turn track one you know let's say I turn the program to something different uh, there's nothing there you know so I only have one program and and if you notice um, the blue blue lights turn on because that's a program with sounds on it when I go to a program there's no sounds on it there's no lights on the on them so there's nothing there so it's just basically saying that when you play track one whatever notes you hit it's gonna reference the sounds in a particular program so I'll put all my drums in their own program I'll put my melody or in bass lines in, a, in their own program so when I go to record my bass line I make a new track and then I make sure I assign bass line here because if this says drums and I play my bass line on the on the track it's going to reference these sounds and it's going to sound really 
weird because <laughs> you're going to hear what you think is your bass line, but it's playing drum sounds to that. Okay. Um, so that's kind of the gist of what a sequencer is. And uh, if you can see below, you have um, your sequence record control. So it's fairly, fairly simple. Um, when you plus, you know, play, record, um, you'll get a little countdown. I'll just do it. Oops, didn't do that for me. Uh, okay, and if you could hear that um, in the beginning, uh, which is barely, barely, barely audible, but um, that is basically my um, metronome. That's how I'm going to help keep time. So, so um, I'm going to undo that, and I'm going to. Now it's playing that that hi hat pattern. Now the important thing here is I'm going to open up this. This is what I was talking about as. Oh, let's turn that way the fuck up. Let's turn that volume back up. Maybe you can actually hear the damn thing. Let me see here. There you go. So it gives you a little count in. And if I go back into that metronome. Okay. So uh, again, I'm going to close out of here and. Okay, and again. Okay. All right, but when I open up the time code thing, this is where you have, see it says timing correct. It's kind of hard to see. Push in a little bit more. Okay, I have it set to 16th note quantization, which basically means that, um, you know, a quarter note is one, two, three, four. That's a bar, okay? Eighth notes is one and two and three and four, and that's a bar. Sixteenth, sixteenth notes are one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a. That's a bar. So it's you're all getting to four four time code, which is, you know, four measures per bar, right? But basically, what this means is, um, with a quarter note quantization, there's only four places that you can snap to on that and I'll, I'll, I'll record the the hi-hats with with one quarter note quantization on and and, and and check 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 this out all right so I'll just go to another track watch I'm gonna play it see that Okay, although I record, I was hitting, this only gave me four places to snap to the grid. So I could le legitimately look at the grid and you can see, you know, where it's going to let me <laughs> put my, put my notes. If I play it back, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four. Anyways, um, so I'm going to just undo that. Oop. All right, so I'm going to just uh, get rid of that. I'm going to just clear that. So basically, all I'm doing is clearing the information of me hitting that, you know. So now I'm going to just do it with uh, eighth notes. And I'm going to do the same thing. Like when I when I hit it like this is one, two, three, right? One, E, and one, two, three, four. One, two, 
three, four, two, two, three, four. That's eighth notes and that would be a sixteenth notes, right? So one. Anyways, so now if I set my uh, quantization to eighth notes, we'll try this. Two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four. <laughs> Oops. Okay, so that's eighth notes um, with eighth notes quantization, basically. So eight, eighth notes is typically what you have in hip hop music for your snares. Um, you know, because it's not going to be just quarter notes, one, two, three, four. It's going to be one and two and three and four and one and two. And so you have eight, typically in like a one bar hip hop loop, um, you're going to have eight, eight hi-hat sounds, you know, or whatever. Okay. Um, now, uh, again, if I do this and I do... See if it will actually record like that. So check this out. See, it won't do it now. You know what I'm saying? Because of the quantization. Now, if I go to 16th notes, is this going to give me more places on my on my grid? That I can snap to. These are all like you can see. That's your your, your grid. So, uh, oops. See how it sounds all fucked up? Cause it's snapping those sounds to the grid. You know what I'm saying? So. Um, I'm going to turn it off. <laughs> okay, now check this out. Same shit, but there's no quantization. It's not going to snap nothing to the grid. And this is where you get your, like, real drum player sound, right? Although I played it, I played it, I played it off. 